John, you look a little banged up. How do you feel? Shit. <laughs> I feel good enough to go out and have a good time tonight, I'll tell you that. I mean, it's my hometown. I have a bunch of people here, so, you know, after a win, you know, a win will erase any feelings of feeling banged up or this and that, but, you know, hey, he's a tough kid. He, uh, a hell of an actor, because, I mean, I tried taking his leg off and he didn't show me any any weakness at all. So he's a real, real tough kid, great fight, and I know he has a great future. He's a young kid, man. I wish I was 25. You know, as old as I am, I'm only 29, but I feel old. <laughs> he comes from uh, Ricardo Almeida school. You're Matt Serra. Is there any kind of like, I don't know, I know there couldn't have been any heat. Oh, absolutely not. Was it like hard to, to get out of bed for this fight? Uh, no, no way. Man, this is UFC. This is, you, you don't get out of bed and ready to go in here, man. There's no easy fighting in that cage, man no matter what and uh, you know we, we both know from the same you know I guess schools of school or systems type thing you know and, and uh, it was uh, you know I respect the hell out of those guys they're great dude Frankie's about as cool as it gets and Coach Henry and uh, Carter Almeida I mean, just great dudes all respect and world for as you can see me and Corey touched gloves before every round you know just all respect and we went in there and you know we have a pretty cool selfie <laughs> with each you know both laid up after the fight so you know all respect for them and I'm just happy to get away What's it like fighting, if you were fighting here, in front of people you know, is there an added like thing in your butterflies in your stomach as opposed to if you were fighting in Florida or... 100%. Yeah. 100%. My last fight was in New Zealand. And, uh, I mean, it was a packed house in New Zealand. It was awesome. But I didn't know nobody. I mean, even, you know, my dad comes every fight. He didn't even come down on a 24-hour flight. Yeah. So, uh, it's definitely, here I must have had five, I would say at least five, six hundred people I know here, you know. I know about 400 people that took a bus here from my hometown and just high school principals, assistant principals, middle school principals, like just so many friends and family here to watch me. So definitely an added, added uh, you know, a little discomfort and, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Butterfly. Butterfly, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Just got punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> can, you hear, can you hear them during the fight? Your fans? Uh, your, your friends? I heard it? I heard Keith throw throw the right hand. He's gonna kill me if I didn't. So no, nah, you hear, it, but uh, I try. I kind of drown it out. It's like wrestling, you know. In high school, you have all those people there cheering for you, but you kind of just hear your your coaches and kind of zoom tune everyone else out. But um, it was it was just an awesome feel. I needed that win here, and hopefully soon enough we'll get to fight in New York and. and Really, you know, get to fight in front of everyone. Everyone just take the Long Island Railroad, get off Madison Square Garden, and, and have a fight there. That would be pretty cool. So this is that step to get there. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever experienced this feeling though in any of your victories before? Uh, <laughs> you know what? No. I'll tell you the truth, no. I mean, because it was a close fight, and I saw on some of the judges' scorecards, I was uh, you were down it was one one, and one scorecard I was down and. I mean, to that judge, I'd like to get them in the cage and show them what it's like to be kicked. You know, because they got, obviously they weren't scoring those kicks too highly, and those kicks, I promise you, they hurt. You could ask Corey, I'm telling you, I mean, they hurt. So, I mean, I guess, you know, judges score fights differently, but I was still in a lot of leg kicks, and if they were scored higher, I would think that I would be up a little bit more. But, you know, can't complain about that. I got the win, I'm happy. But, you know, that's the way my, my style is. is I'm going to, when I fight, they know that they, you know, how to fight. And I'm going to make sure they're hurt. When they walk out of that cage, it's not gonna be pleasant. Was there any strategy to pace your cardio during the fight? Because you know, I know there's been some previous fights where oh, absolutely. cardio was an issue. So. Definitely not not a pace. You know, I had to go in there and fight. Um, I, I think I could have done more. Definitely, it th threw a little bit too much counter with one shot or one shot and a kick. I, th I think I should have comboed up a little bit more. Um, definitely not a strategy to that. It just I know I'm the harder hitter. I know. In this division, I don't know how many people hit harder than me, to tell you the truth. I really feel like I could take someone's head off when I go. So I, it's just, I, you know, I, I want to be that. I'm a, I was a football guy. I come from a football background, so I have that explosion power. I want to take you out real quick. And I just should have threw a little bit more combination. Not happy with my performance, but nobody ever is when they're in there. <laughs> are, you, are you happy with the victory, but you're not happy with the actual performance? Is that I'm happy with the victory, and I know uh, I could have done better, but no matter what, if I had knocked him out in three seconds, I wouldn't have been happy. You always want to improve when you're in there. Now, New Jersey, what's up? Was where you had the uh, fight with the OSP, with there was the IPO. Same place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Same venue. And uh, as a matter of fact, since that time, you're supposed to be won, but he's ranked and you're not. Like, how do you feel about that? 
Uh, you know, I think God has a path for us all, and He obviously, you know, gave me this road to travel. And if it's a little tougher, whatever, you know, to get in that top 15, whatever. Um, but uh, I, you know, I respect OSP, and it just is a matter of sometimes inches, you know, winning and losing. And uh, I think a lot of my fights I could have won, you know. And it's just, you know, sometimes it doesn't go your way. And like I said, it's all God's plan, and I'm, uh, I'm happy tonight He gave me that. And like I said, I mean. That wasn't, I mean, it was skill, but a lot of it was it was luck. It was God's plan to let me lay in that punch and, and finish the fight, so I couldn't be happy with that, you know. You were suspect of winning by knockout? Were you Excuse me? to win by knockout? Uh, I was, to tell you the truth, yeah. I, like I said, I know when I go in there and fight, I, I can knock anybody out. I hit hard, man. You, know, you could ask Weidman, you could, you could ask one of the guys I spar with, you know. I kick hard, I punch hard, and if I hit you with one of those things, they land. Like I said, if it's God's will, you know, if God wants me to put that in the right, put it in the right spot, then they're gonna go out. I mean, it hurts. I know I hit hard, so just gotta go in there and do it. Let them out, let them free a little bit more. You know, I know um, if I threw a little bit more in combination, I probably could have finished it earlier. But like I said, he's a tough, tough guy, man. I don't know if, if any of you guys caught it. I mean, I'm sure you know watched the fight, but he shot it in the first round, and I threw. A, I went to go through a kick, and a knee landed right on his on his uh, mouth and he knocked all his bottom teeth out. <laughs> so uh, uh, he's a tough guy. He didn't show it, but he should tell me after the fight his whole bottom teeth are pushed back into his mouth. <laughs> so uh, he's a tough, tough kid, man. I give him a lot of a lot of respect and with those kicks and then the, and, and his teeth getting knocked out. He's a tough, tough kid, man. So, you know, I did what I had to do to win. At what point in the fight did you decide to abandon your strategy and then be a bit more aggressive? Because you mentioned you, you would throw as many combinations as you wanted yeah. to, but then you had to make a conscious decision to go ahead and try to overpower your opponent. Was it the first round when you knocked the Steve out, or was it the second round? Like, where did you say, you know what, I got to dig in and just put the ball to the wall and put it down? I, I wanted to stay tight and just, you know, finish crisp counters, this and that. But then I just realized it, it didn't look right. I guess maybe that's where the judges scored it that way. It's, Looks like he's doing more because he's more active, but nothing really landed hard on me. A little punches would get through here and there, but I'm telling you, I'm completely fine. I mean, no offense to God, but I, I could take that all day, you know? And, uh, so I just knew that maybe it didn't look right, so I had to go in there and, and throw something hard that, you know, at least get them stunned or something like that so they could see how hard I was actually throwing. And I know some of those, I saw some of the hooks early hurt him. Um, I knew I had to follow that up with a right hand eventually, and that's what finished it all. You know you was behind and figured you have to Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'll tell you the truth, like I said, I mean I don't wanna start I don't wanna start complaining about judges, this and that and I gotta have respect for them. But like I said, it, to me and that's Dane always says don't leave it in the judges judge's hands, he's, he's right, you know. To me, I felt like I was winning the fight. I those kicks, I'm telling you, <laughs> give me one of those judges, put it, put them in there, and, and they get kicked by. I'm telling you, those things hurt. And I guess they didn't score it like they hurt. You know, I guess they don't score the damage and this and that. And you know, to me, if I'm doing that fight, and I know what it is to get take a kick. You know, I'm a fighter. I know what it is to take one of those kicks. I'm I'm winning the fight because I'm landing the harder shots. I'm doing more damage. He's landing a jab here and there, then running, jab, running, jab, running. If that's what wins fights, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I, I would have been heartbreaking if I went in there, did that damage, he goes home on a stretcher, and I lost the fight. I, I would have been heartbroken. So I'm just happy I landed that. I got to thank God that he let that punch get through and finish the fight. You know? But I definitely didn't think I would lose. I mean, I don't want to sound bitter, but that would have sucked. <laughs> so how are you feeling about the uh, uh, legalization of the uh, 50th state? It hasn't have to happen. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I hope it happens. How are we the only state that does it? I mean, we're a state of tough guys, man. Look at the scene in Long Island of, uh, of fighters coming through. You know, we got a champ. We got a guy on the rise. Aljo will be a champ soon. I Quinta, who's cursing out fans. <laughs> I mean, we just have we have a lot, a lot of really good fighters. Our own flair. We got championship boxers. I mean, we have, we have so many good fighters from our from our uh, neck of the woods, just in Long Island, a little place right near Manhattan. And we can't get a fight there. Hopefully, it happens. I think it will. Hopefully, this year. And uh, you know, I just hope to get on that card, you know, with some of the other boys and all my friends. And it'll be a great night, you know. What is it about training versus fighting? I know people's game plans go right out the window the second they get hit. Yeah. But you see dudes are studs on pads that do like six punch combinations. And then they go in and it's just yeah. a jab or one, two. What happens? 
and how do you how do you continue to throw four punch combos at lifters like you do every day? Yeah, it's anxiety sometimes. I mean, I should like I said, I know I should have threw a little bit more combinations in there. And, it was just, I knew like when I was landing something, I felt him hurting this and that. And I, sometimes you wait for him to throw back or something like that. I'm like, I shouldn't be thinking like that. I should just throw my throw my stuff and, and let him land. And, uh, you know, like I said, not the happiest with my performance, but happy I got the win. <laughs>